separate for the purpose of their relationship to us, they are one with their own. So you think you think your personal experience about a concept of a deity somehow establishes the validity of that concept of a deity? See, if I had a Muslim describing how they have relationship with God and they understood that God is one, has to make sense to them. If I have a Hindu, likewise, that you know, then you're saying personal experiences can determine the validity of a concept of of a deity in any religion. I think it definitely plays a part. Okay. It definitely it plays, we are human it plays a part. It but when we but when we discuss in comparison to because this is what we have a comparative religion in the sense that we are exposed to each other's ideas, our concept of God. Yeah. And when we see that yes, if you have a God who has no beginning, that being has to be by necessary necessity, necessarily independent. Because there was no one that gave beginning to this God. So yeah. if Jesus had no beginning of existence, Jesus was not brought into existence by anyone, then he'll be independent. So you now have the question of three independent persons within the Trinity. Each of them equally having the full divine nature of God. So one cannot become subordinate to the other because by definition yeah. they are not subordinates. They are sovereign yeah. beings. Yeah. But you have within the Christian tradition, Jesus is subordinate. He's always subordinate. He will always remain subordinate to the Father. That doesn't Really, I don't know. I don't know that I would agree, but I don't know how to explain why I don't agree. So, I but do you know. believe? Do you believe Jesus is equal in knowledge with the Father? Because He says, "Of that day and of that hour, no man knows, not even the angels of heaven, but only the Father." An explicit statement of a particular characteristics of God. We're talking about knowledge. He doesn't say not only the um, the Son of Man doesn't know. He says not only the Son but only the father here is a bigger problem if the father is the only one who knows by definition it makes sense the father is unknowledgeable father is god it excludes the son which is jesus christ from his divinity because that is one of the divine characters to be unknowledgeable being perfect it excludes the holy spirit from divine because that is a perfect sign of perfection so explicit statements like this demonstrates from the text itself that the belief that is somehow you know molded or, or, or formulated it doesn't really go with textual evidence there seems to be a lot of things going on conceptually philosophically rationally reasonably you would know that yes there are they cannot be three independent beings like if I was independent then then you yourself being sovereign and I would not be able to do whatever I wanted to do because you have the same power imagine I said I want this world to be destroyed and you said no I want it to be remain as it is what's gonna to happen to the world the thing is that's, that's if we you see that they are one because that no they one go independent against each other like that, you know but we I mean? find but this is what we find in the new testament text described jesus says not according to my will but according to your will let yeah. this cup be away from me <laughs> he described the existence of two separate distinct wills yeah. one being subordinate to the other the thing is i think i think once jesus was on earth he experienced life as a man because he had to come and experience life as us in order to die to cover our sins and so i think that's where that is where i think when jesus is in heaven at the right hand of the father i don't think there would be that level of subordination but i'm not there so how but the bible describes the, the eternal subordination he says yeah. when the judgment is done Jesus hands over everything back to God so that God can be God of all. Okay, but is that in the Quran or is it in the Bible? In the Bible. The okay. Bible describes the subordination of Christ even in the last days until everlasting days. God is the God of all. So the Bible describes from the very beginning the Father is the ultimate sovereign God and it describes at the end it's the ultimate sovereign God. As Muslims, we accept that. We say this is God. God is the God of Jesus, God of Muhammad, God of Moses, God of Abraham, God of Jacob. God is God of all those prophets and messengers. That is the God that we should be worshipping. Didn't Jesus come and say, worship the one in heaven? Oh, our Father, yeah, who art I in just, heaven, hallowed be thy name, I thy will struggle. be done. No, that, that prayer is a formula for us to know how to pray. It's not to who to pray not to. Not to, to how to, to but, but who to pray to. To God. Okay. Did he so, say? Okay, okay, wait, okay, wait, sorry, I really have to go. Sure. Let me but can you just explain that? Thing. When he said, oh, our Father, who art in heaven, who is in heaven? Hallowed be your name. Glory yeah. by your name. Your yeah. will be done. Who is it this, describing? This the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, or all together? 
He is speaking about God, which is the Chinese God. No, he's speaking about I one think, person. That's what I think. That's what I but think. But do you not accept? But, um, I do, I do accept, ex and you've given me a lot to think about, but, but which I'm very grateful for, thank because you. it's questions that I wouldn't think of myself, which yeah. is why I come here, because everyone will say things that I wouldn't think to think about. Um, but, I don't know, I for me, I just believe that Jesus is the Son of God, and that He is a heavenly being, so I can't, I don't know, hearing you put Him on the same level as like Moses, Abraham, blah, 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 to me doesn't make any sense, because when you speak oh, no. about Jesus, can Can there be anyone equal to God? When he is, he, he is one not equal part to God, God but he, he is subordinate. Be. Anyone who is less than God is not God. Yeah. By definition, God is the most high being, yeah. the most high, the perfect, the sublime, the sovereign. Yeah. Anyone who is less than that is not God. By definition. Yeah. Well, I just, I just don't believe that he's less than God. Anyway, but I do have to go though. Thank you for sure. this conversation. Sure. It's nice, though. nice it's talking to, to you. But please um, read the Quran in which it does talk about Jesus Christ. It does talk about God, yeah. and it does talk about you know our purpose in life. It does talk about you know what happened in the earlier uh, you know, traditions of Judeo Christianity and where things went wrong. Because yeah. God is sending the final messenger, Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, to guide us back to to God, so that we can be saved from hellfire, and that's the only way we can be saved. Okay, if you're a Muslim, then that's what you believe. Jesus was a Muslim too. Yeah. That's another discussion I don't to know. have. I would, I would we have we have to talk tube, again. But anyway. We can talk another time. But take yeah. care. Okay. You know? Thank you. Have yeah. a good evening. You too. Yeah. Bye.